China's fifth Antarctic station, Qinling Station. The location and establishment of polar research stations can reflect a country's comprehensive strength. On February 7, 2024, China's fifth Antarctic research station, Qinling Station, opened, filling the gap in China's research in the Ross Sea region of Antarctica. In this video, let us learn more about Qinling Station. Looking back at the names of the four research stations China has built in Antarctica, they are Great Wall Station, Zhongshan Station, Kunlun Station, and Taishan Station. So, why did the Qinling Station, which was completed and opened, get its name? According to reports, there are two main considerations. First, the Qinling Mountains, as an ancient mountain range that traverses central China is the geographical dividing line between north and south, and is also an important symbol of China's history and cultural diversity. It is a household name and well known in China. The area where the new station is located also has a transverse mountain range that serves as the geographical dividing line between East and West Antarctica. Second, the Qinling Mountains have a well-developed water system and a large collection of plants. It is the North and South Biological Species Bank and Natural Medicine Bank, and it is also the only crested ibis nesting site on the Earth. It is a typical representative of the harmonious coexistence between man and nature, which is consistent with the green, environmentally friendly and energy-saving design concept of the new station. It can show a good image that China attaches great importance to Antarctic environmental protection and implements the Green Expedition International Initiative. According to China's Ministry of Natural Resources, the Qinling Station is located in the Ross Sea coastal area of Antarctica with a construction area of more than 5,000 square meters. The main body of the station is designed in the shape of the Southern Cross constellation, and the design concept is derived from the Southern Cross navigation used by the Chinese navigator Zhang, he when he sailed to the Western Ocean. This is China's third annual Antarctic research station and the first one facing the Pacific sector. It is understood that the new station mainly includes command and dispatch, marine laboratory, personnel accommodation, office meetings, catering activities, sample room, equipment room, field support center, data center, etc. It is a new generation scientific investigation platform with intensive space and complete functions. The construction features of the new station are mainly reflected in the following four points. The first is to expand the scope of the investigation. The design of the new station comprehensively considers factors such as logistics operations, scientific observation, international cooperation, and environmental protection to form a multi-circle, Full area inspection model centered on the investigation station, and the scope of the investigation can reach 300 to 500 kilometers. The second is to support smart scientific research. The new station adopts data management and remote synchronization based on satellite communication systems. Intelligent operation and maintenance systems such as automatic detection and emergency response as well as dedicated network systems such as intelligent communication and data collection, have been set up to realize intelligent scientific research. The third is to achieve long-term observation. The marine laboratory of the new station is positioned as an international-level marine research platform. It can realize long-term continuous observation and monitoring of the Polonia in Terra Nova Bay, carry out online monitoring and data transmission of nearshore marine environment, sample pre-processing analysis experiments, etc. The fourth is overall green and environmental protection. The new station adopts an energy microgrid management system that combines renewable energy and traditional energy, 
giving priority to clean energy such as wind energy and solar energy, with new energy sources such as wind energy and solar energy accounting for more than 60%. It also integrates advanced technologies such as microgrid monitoring and energy management platform to make the operation of the research station more green and environmentally friendly. The next step will be to further improve the relevant supporting facilities and complete the installation and deployment of various scientific observation monitoring facilities one by one. The weather in Antarctica is harsh and the geological conditions are not suitable for building houses. What are the secrets to the construction of Qinling Station? According to the construction unit, the rocks on Engsberg Island are exposed and super strong, super dry, and super cold offshore winds prevail and wind and snow are often encountered. In order to resist severe weather, the main building of Qinling Station adopts a steel structure system, with the steel consumption exceeding 300 kilograms per square meter, which is two to three times that of similar buildings. As one of the areas with the strongest catabatic winds in Antarctica, the known maximum wind speed in the new station area exceeds 43 meters slash second. Through structural design, the designed wind resistance of the new Ross Sea Station reaches 65 meters slash second, which is equivalent to wind power above level 17. Taking full consideration of the special natural environment conditions of Antarctica, the construction of Qinling Station adopted a prefabricated and modular construction system, which can achieve rapid construction within a short window period. Prefabricated steel structural parts and functional modules have been tailor-made in China and can be packed and moved in after being assembled on site in Antarctica. After the construction of the skeleton and modules is completed, the Chinese construction team still needs to address the Qinling station, which is to install curtain wall panels. According to reports, the curtain wall panel of Qinling Station has a stainless steel plate on the outside, an aluminum composite panel on the back, and a polyurethane foam board on the innermost layer, making this clothing not only strong and beautiful, but also very warm. There are more than 1,100 curtain wall panels in Ross Sea New Station. Not only are they large in number, but also because they are all modularly produced, the requirements for installation accuracy are very high. It is understood that the Qinling Station will make full use of the geographical advantages of Terra Nova Polonia to the east, and the marine laboratory owned by the station to focus on oceanographic observation and research. At the same time, observations and research in atmospheric science, glaciology, geology, space physics and other disciplines are carried out. The new station will play a major role in China's Antarctic scientific expedition, which is specifically reflected in three aspects. First, in terms of long-term observation network layout, it fills the gap in the Pacific sector can deepen the understanding of environmental changes in the entire Antarctic region and better answer cutting-edge scientific questions such as climate change, ice and snow, and ecological environment change mechanisms. Second, in terms of expanding the field of scientific research, the new station will take advantage of its geographical location to carry out research on cutting-edge scientific issues such as Polynian ecological processes and ice shelf ocean interaction, so as to enhance China's marine scientific research capabilities. Third, in terms of international cooperation, there are research stations from Italy, Germany, South Korea, the United States, New Zealand and other countries near the new station. In the future, through cooperation with these research stations, we will jointly promote observation and research on the Ross Sea and Ross Ice Shelf, 
jointly implement regional ecological and environmental protection, promote the establishment of the marine laboratories of the research stations into an international cooperation platform, and assist Antarctic research cooperation. With Qinling Station as the fulcrum, China's polar expedition support system will be further improved. For Antarctic scientific research, infrastructure construction represented by research stations is a top priority. Qinling Station is China's fifth Antarctic research station, China's third annual research station, and China's first Antarctic research station facing the Pacific sector. Research stations, polar research ships, inland research fleets, aviation support. China's polar research support system has been further strengthened, further expanding China's substantial polar presence. During the construction of the Qinling Station, international cooperation was common. The advanced team members of the Qinling Station construction took an Italian flight to the Antarctic, the Snow Dragon 2 help transport more than 20 Korean expedition members to Littleton Port in New Zealand. Exploring the polar regions, cooperation and communication are a constant theme. In the future, China will rely on the Qinling Station to work with relevant countries to manage the Anksberg Island Antarctic Special Reserve and carry out ecological monitoring of the Ross Sea Marine Reserve. In addition, relevant international cooperation will be carried out with research stations in other neighboring countries. On the Antarctic ice sheet, the Qinling Station will write a new chapter in better understanding, protecting and utilizing the polar regions. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.